Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing you the top five books that I want to reread in 2018. So I made this video last year and I didn't end up rereading any books um, besides one, which is like a tradition. So every time I tear my ACL and have surgery, I always read The Help, um, which happened to be in 2017 where, where I tore my ACL the second time. But other than that, like I didn't reread any books at all. So yeah, I have five books here that I would like to get to before like I don't know, I feel like it's good to reread books and it's something that I always think I will do but I never end up getting around to doing. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So this one is kind of a new book and an old book combined and it is the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And I didn't get onto like the Harry Potter bandwagon until um, I was going into high school. Um, so like it's been a while since I've like read Harry Potter so this is a reread because I will be rereading the third one but it'll also be the illustrated edition so we'll have some kind of other neat kind of things in there as well. So yeah this is one of my favorite books of the series. The third and the seventh I think are my favorite so I'm really excited to pick this one up and the illustrations are always beautiful so this is probably one I'll be reading in February because I do have that book at home so and I'll be home for uh, two weeks for a break so yeah. This is another book that I've read a couple years ago and I love it. It's one of my favorite trilogies and I really love it. And I think to look back on it, I want to reread it again. And it is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. And it basically follows a girl named Kelsey who on her 18th birthday, she kind of comes back out of hiding to claim her spot on the throne. And so basically they live in the Tearling, which is like takes place in the future but it's a regressed society and there's a lot of kind of it very mirrors our society now where there's women's rights aren't really are taking a priority like and then mixing religion and politics so it's a very interesting story and Kelsey is such a complex and dynamic character that she's really fun to read with so yeah definitely this is one I want to pick up again in the future. So this is probably one of my favorite books of all time and it is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I've been talking about this book whenever, I, like since I first started out here on booktube and this book really moved me and I haven't read it since and I feel like I, I think it would be a really neat reading experience going back reading it. It's because I love it so much and I haven't really picked it up in I want to say like maybe three plus years so yeah this is definitely a book that I really want to pick up in the near future because it just the book was so near and dear to my heart. So next I have Dark Places by Gillian Flynn and this is like my favorite of the three books that she's released. So basically it follows a girl whose like family was like slaughtered and she was the lone one of the lone survivors and for years she everyone believed that it was her brother that did it. She even testified in court saying that her brother did it um, but she's the uh, kind of this man ends up coming into her life and he believes that her brother is innocent so she kind of goes down relives this path and it's a very dark and twisted book and I think like I said this is my favorite of hers and I read it very very quickly um, over the summer I want to say in 2015? 2014? I don't know but I really loved it and this like it's like I said it's one of my favorites and it's fairly short so it shouldn't be too long of a read but yeah this book is just really really creepy and it's perfect. <laughs> and finally this is a book that I read last summer that I really loved and it, this is probably within my top five books of all time. It is The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton and basically it follows a girl who when she's really young she's kind of hanging out in the family treehouse and this man comes onto her property and has a confrontation with her with her mother and so the mother ends up stabbing him and killing him and she's never spoken of that ever like in like years so when her mother is very old and basically on her deathbed with dementia she kind of brings it up again so she kind of looks into it so then it flashes back to kind of England during the Blitz and just how the two stories intertwine and it was such a moving book and I don't know I really want to reread it again just because I felt so many emotions and I was like oh my goodness my heart but it was just a really good book and I know it definitely will be one that I'll fly through um, when I read it the second time. That's it guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments below what some of the books you want to reread in 2018 are so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys